a big breakthrough in medical science. Huge medical breakthrough. Eight healthy babies have been born in the United Kingdom using an experimental IVF technique involving DNA from three people, the biological mother, the father, and a third donor who contributes healthy mitochondria. This is a game changer for families with a history of devastating mitochondrial disease, rare genetic disorders that can cause muscle weakness in babies, seizures, developmental delays, and even early death. Now, these diseases are passed down from mothers through faulty mitochondria, the tiny batteries of our cells. That's what it is. Here's how the technique works. Scientists now remove the mother's nuclear DNA, the material that determines most of the traits, and place it into a donor egg with healthy mitochondria. The donor egg's own nuclear DNA is first removed, so only the healthy mitochondria remains. The egg is then fertilized with the father's sperm. This way, the baby carries 99.9% .9 of the DNA from both the parents and less than 1% of the DNA from the donor. It's called mitochondrial donation or three-parent IVF. And it was legalized in the UK in 2016 for very specific cases. The latest research published in the New England Journal of Medicine shows eight babies are now born free of mitochondrial diseases so far, with one more on the way. So this has been an absolute success in the UK. Scientists stress that this is not genetic engineering. The donor DNA does not affect the baby's appearance or personality. It's simply a way to give children a shot to life without any diseases. Experts call this a triumph of science and hope. Uh, in fact, it opens doors for families, though it remains banned in many countries, including the US and Canada, due to ethical and regulatory concerns. But for now, this marks a new era of reproductive medicine, one where three people can safely create a life and a deadly disease-free one. Let me bring in Surveen, uh, Dr. Surveen Goman, Senior Director and Head IVF of Max Hospitals. We also have Dr. Anupama R, District Chairperson, IMA Trivandrum and Senior Gynecologist. Uh, thank you both of you for joining us. Uh, I will ask Dr. Anupama first. Ma'am Anupama, we hear that in Kerala, preterm births have shot up by 280%, which is uh, alarming. Uh, do you think a breakthrough like this will really help babies come more healthy? Should India open its doors to a, a, a transformation like this, like what UK has done? Sure, the rules in, in IRT has, uh, has made a lot of changes since the last couple of years. But uh, India has to adopt some uh, innovative changes like this. Uh, because uh, there are people, there are people, there are families in India also. There are families suffering from a lot of genetic diseases. Yeah. Uh, they might be having uh, repeated uh, births of uh, some diseased or abnormal babies because of various genetic conditions. Or in such situation, they may not have any hope of getting a healthy baby. But also. why, ma'am, do you think that in Kerala, uh, preterm births have shot up by 286%? What do you think has gone wrong there? Yeah, my, might be. I, I, we don't know the exact statistics of uh, 286 and all of uh, preterm well, we've, we've got a report still, that says it shot up by 286%. Oh, of course, it can be due to it. It, it has a positive aspect also because uh, most of our IVF clinics are uh, working very uh, tremendously and uh, most of our baby uh, mothers are getting babies. And But according to the current ART guidelines and all, we are not uh, doing more than three embryo transfers. So that much of uh, preterm deliveries are less in IVF sector nowadays in Kerala also. Mm -hmm. But as such, the preterm births can be due to uh, infections, it can be due to preterm rupture of membranes or a lot of other reasons than uh, multiple pregnancies and uh, due to maternal complications and all, the number of preterm births might have increased. But at, along with that, the neonatal ICU care is also very much improved in Kerala. So even from 24 to 23 or 24 weeks of babies, we are getting uh, with, in a very healthy condition. 100% healthy condition, we are getting babies okay. from 23 or 24 weeks onwards. You know, I, uh, I would like to bring in Dr. Surveen. Uh, doctor, this IVF breakthrough in the United Kingdom uh, leaves a lot of parents with hope that their child can be disease free. Even that small iota of doubt that they may have, that, that uh, which, which usually is established when the checks are done, that, that there could be some problem with the baby. Now, that could be mitigated if you adopt a three-donor policy. This is what UK has done. It's worked for them. Eight healthy babies. Should we open doors in India? And what's the uh, what's anything that's alarming in India that we see here with the rise of preterm babies? So, uh, the three-parent baby now, uh, 
we've got eight babies so i would say it's still in very experimental stage we don't have long term data on how mm-hmm. these babies are going to fare there were concerns about alteration of the germ line because you are permanently altering the germ line of that baby there is permanent alteration of the uh, at least that 0.1% genetics which is occurring and you are introducing a third parent into a uh, conception now whether that is ethical or it is not ethical there have been lot of debates and it has been banned in certain countries a very important thing is it's a slippery slope we are doing some kind of a genetic modification if misused it could could cause permanent harm to humanity at a large and that is why the ethical concern is there however people who are suffering from mitochondrial diseases it's a big relief for them because there is actually no cure for these diseases which can become very serious and life threatening yeah, and we want to look at the bright side of it do we are you saying in india there is a real concern preterm births mitochondrial diseases are common uh mitochondrial diseases occur one in 400 people they could be severe they could be mild but they are there and they will be passed on through the maternal germ line mm. so those are the ones which we are going to tackle preterm births is a genuine concern in india it has actually been decreasing but kerala has shown a rise and the rise could also be because of other factors like pollution lifestyle mm. we don't know how- how much of plastics we are consuming is that the cause for it you really cannot say what is the cause because medical Correct. science has advanced to actually bring babies to term but hmm. this this is reverse so there's some factor which is there which is it's there thinking, in our lifestyle keep an eye out right uh, dr sarveen i really appreciate your time uh, and madam uh, dr anupama for joining us we i wanted to highlight what this breakthrough really means whether india opens its doors for it or not time will tell but thank you very much i really appreciate your time